right, so I've been beating my head against this wall for quite some time now, and a strategy is forming. Um, I know everybody can beat roughly anyone. And the idea that I have now is rather than keeping them in the central room, is put them in the correct hallways already as well. Um, I guess I can just show you because I'm recording this because there's something else I would like to test out, but might as well show this off too. Let's head into course press. This isn't going to take too long, but I just want to show off what it is. Get my keyboard out of here. Get out of your keyboard, I don't need you. So, basically what I'm now doing is, like, if I'm not using these for fighting, I'm just going to give each of these a number. So, one, two, three, four, right? Then I check how the list looks here, and these get number two. One, two, three, four, right? So, what I do now before the fight starts... Um, Schnitt, that's not you. Schnitz, yeah. You go to here, I mean here. Then Low goes to here. Daphne goes here. Xenovoid goes here. So that way, if I'm zoomed out like this and I see. Oh, there's a mouth on this. Just click, click, and know what I need to hit the second one. It's not going to be a problem. And they're. They don't have to run all this way. It does save a little bit of time and it also mostly in that they won't be too late. I'm getting quicker at the doing everything here as well, but again, I'm probably not gonna have much footage of it. If any. I'm gonna mostly do this off camera because I need my focus, I cannot be talking if things are gonna go belly up. Plus I'll be usually listening to classic music because for some reason that helps me play. I don't know why, it's weird. It keeps me calm, I guess. I don't know. I think Knowing that I won't have an audience also makes me less stressful. But anyway, yeah, that's um, one thing I've been working on to speed up my skills. The other thing is something that has gone consistently belly up for me is this goober. Um, even if I only make it so that only one guy is in there when the king thing kicks off, at some point, five people get transformed. And that has been a constant source spot, something that has been in my mind. And that's the main reason we're here now, because <clears throat> something finally dawned on me. Like an ordeal of white. Speaking of white, it actually dawned on me during an ordeal of white, namely when fighting a white fixer. Um, you know, I've been doing uh, the apocalypse, right? At some point I was thinking during one of those that um, it's a good thing Burb isn't here, that he's already breached, because otherwise he would definitely breach during the Apocalypse fight. And I noticed that he breached during one of the fights against the White Fixer. I mean, if you go, she goes here and she does her white thing, dead, 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 dead. A lot of office workers dies. No good. And it caused Big Burb here to breach. That got me thinking. What if I let him do his thing? I know what you're saying, but that's stupid. You lose five people. Yes. But what if those five people are throwaway characters? I hire five people. I let Tree do his thing. I kill five, four out of five buds. Maybe, just maybe, the final bud not dying will prevent him from kidnapping another five. I haven't tested this. So this is the first time I'm going to attempt this. I haven't hired anyone yet because of that. I don't want five conscripts. Lording around, so I'm gonna sacrifice five people to tree now and see how that is going to work. Clearly, I'm too vain to sacrifice myself. <laughs> Even now, I can't get myself to do it. I'm just gonna take these three because they're the newest. Uh, then uh, some people that are also quite quiet on the white weasel, we don't talk too much. I'm not going to sacrifice any other regulars, that's just silly. Anybody here who doesn't talk too much? Calvin, Patrick. Yeah, I'll send Patrick. Of course, if I'm doing this, I'm going to hire five new people, keep them on level three. It's going to cost me five law points, but if this works, and I can get Parasite Tree out of my hair, that's going to be a big boon for me. 
Now then, let's get cracking, shall we? Oh yeah, I can't speed up to you. Ugh. Um, I'll see you once I got once I get four. I might have to do a meltdown so they can still get good results. I think they do need good for that. So yeah, see you in a bit. All right, so here we are. <clears throat> so for, uh, well, that'll work too. You don't have to send you to your death. All right, so. For those who haven't seen Tree Apocalypse, get ready for it, I guess. Um, so the idea is we take out four of the buds. And I've moved everybody who got marked here because we shouldn't have to deal with special meltdowns down here, I think. I'm not entirely sure on that. But. Alright, get ready for Tree Apocalypse. Woo! Burp. But they panic for a bit, which means they are allowed to just run off to somewhere. So I can't just put them in here, which would have been ideal, I guess. And then eventually, after a little bit... Party! 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 Plop. And now, we check what happens to Tree. If he stays like this... After only one of these guys is left alive, then I can prevent it. I also need to check what the effects are, how bad the damage is, so to speak. I also need to check if he indeed stops uh, abducting people. So I can do this with conscripts. Interesting look for you, isn't it? Alright, uh, we got two down here. I'll go take care of one. The problem is we can't send anybody to go work there, which shouldn't be a problem because they'll immediately try to suppress that. We can't have that. Where's the fifth one, though? I probably already took care of it. Just leave that thing be. Right, um, who's weakest? We'll take one of these guys. They have sort of crummy armor, I guess. Well, how bad is the damage? No, don't shoot it. Seems our med bay is going to be more than capable of handling that. Again, with a bit of luck, we don't even have to be here, so... Alright. And tree isn't doing anything. So... Now we check if he still tries to abduct people. So we'll send some people to work. We need five. If nothing happens when this is done, we'll be good. If this works, that's going to be super great for us. But I don't know if it's going to work. Okay. All right. Okay. Oh, that is big. That is big, big, big. Being able to stop him from doing a shenanigans for the low cost of five law points and five human lives. Yeah, that's going to be a big help for us. 
And of course, I'm fairly sure once we kill Sapling here, he's gonna go back to normal. And he's gonna start doing his thing over again. So let's give that a final shot, just so we know everything. I'm pretty sure if this thing goes, he'll turn back to normal and start doing his shin dig again. Of course, if he doesn't... Even better. Some more work orders and have a look. I've also sort of stopped worrying about doing the right work order um, when it comes around, so I just go like click, 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 and try to get as quickly as possible to everything. Um, I've managed to get them all once, which I was pretty proud of. It helped that they were all pretty low central, well, not all, not all central, but all located pretty darn close. Pretty sure anybody here could take him on one on one, but there's a fun in that, right? Huh. This Parasite 3 just only does his thing once. Which is great, it means I don't have to worry about the poison stuff at all. Yeah, this is gonna be huge. It fills me with determination. Bion is going down again. Maybe not today, maybe not tomorrow. Yeah, maybe not uh, this week, but it's going to happen. Cool. Alright. Hopefully this gets followed up by good news. Another test. Uh, I did the tree thing again, and surprise, he's back to normal. So, I am correct in assuming that if you get them all... He turns back to normal. So don't do that. Anyway, this means a reset for me, so... Yay. <sighs> it's gonna take forever. And welcome to Post Commentary. With classical music provided by our good friend, Cheesed. Or Chessed. Anyway, uh, yeah, what you're gonna be seeing here is... Mostly failures, I guess. Um... Also, if you're wondering why classical music, well, this is mostly stuff I've been listening to whilst doing these um, days. I've been doing a lot of stuff over and over and over again. And you kind of get bored of the music uh, the game throws at you. It's good music, don't get me wrong, but um, eventually you do get tired of it. Um, it wasn't just classical music, but anyway, yeah, welcome to the quote-unquote Naughty Word show. Um, this day was particularly horrible for me because getting to him wasn't as difficult as it was with uh, the previous day, but it always took me like 20 to 30 minutes at the very least to just have an attempt at this guy. Um, because first of all, I needed to set up the tree apocalypse by uh, getting a mixture of new guys plus office workers to be nabbed by the tree. That allowed me to work through the rest of the day without having to worry somebody from. Well, I think, yeah. This is where I forgot that somebody was left in. Um, 
flesh idol. And anyway, yeah, she probably needed to happen um, so I could work on everybody else without having to fear somebody from the disciplinary team of my good guys would actually get nabbed. Um, then I had to take care of charging up the winding clock. Not difficult, but you need to remember it. Queenie needed to happen. Uh, numerous times where I had to do noon on uh, map down 3. A few times where I had to do it on 4, which was an instant reset because I'm not gonna deal with two figures and the Arbiter. Um, yeah, Queen needed to keep, be kept in check. We had some new guys we need to work on. A lot of dime time, which was annoying. And then to just have things go horrible when you're actually facing this guy. It's like... Uh, anyway. Um, yeah. So that was uh, fun. Now, it also, of course, couldn't just end with a difficult fight. Right? It had to be littered with bugs. As um, you see here, we got him down. We got all of his meltdowns. Then he decided, you know what? I'm not going to go invulnerable. I'm not going to call any more meltdowns. I'm just going to run around causing chaos. So basically, at this point, we were doing running of the bulls in the completely opposite order. The Arbit was running away from us, and we were just pretty much cleaning up after him, hoping that he would still lose meltdowns. I mean, at this point, I thought, oh, he's just gonna wander a bit, call up on a wave of meltdowns, and here we go again. We basically ended up chasing him for quite a while until something bad happened. I thought, you know what, fuck it. And you know, if I start swearing, you know it's bad. Um. Other stuff that went horribly, horribly wrong. Um, he once got stuck where he just disappeared. Um, we talked to Styles, he had the same thing. Uh, apparently, it could happen when you hit backwards clock when he's in a transition, like you'll see here, like now. It's hard to keep track of that, but yeah, apparently, you can get stuck like that as well. And I also had him at some point where he just decided, you know what? I'm done with this. And he stops doing anything. He just stood there in the door of, um, I think it was disciplinary. <clears throat> Not in the door, but at the door. Um, he was immune to damage and he just didn't do anything anymore. Uh, no meltdowns, <clears throat> no attacks. My people could still attack him, but no damage was done. And then I'm thinking, you know, I hear you think, I hear you think. So why just not go to Meltdown 10? Good idea. My idea as well. Game crashed around Meltdown level 8. And then at least something bizarre happened. The game finally felt like hmm, this isn't right. And uh, yeah. Anyway, <clears throat> um, a whole lot went wrong here. And this day, I would have been fine without it, shall we say? I really enjoyed the game up until this point. And 49 was just a nightmare, which at more than one point made me think, okay, F it, I'm done with this game. Then I would have to admit defeat, and I'm not one to admit a defeat against the game. I mean, if I know I'm wrong in an argument or something, I'll say, yeah, sure, okay, I was wrong. This is something different. <clears throat> this became a matter of honor to me. Well, that and at some point, Styles or Jade again, who's also playing along, defeated him. It's like, okay, I can't stay behind. I have to do it now. Carol of the Bells. Quincus Marina. <sighs> I wonder if this is a Christmas song. I don't know. I don't think it is. Anyway, all the music you're hearing is um, free to use, which is another reason why you're listening to classical music. I'll provide thanks to the YouTube um, library for that so i'm hoping not have any questions and yeah as you can see we just chase him around a bit but yeah um that was just the stuff that wasn't meant to happen the bugs of course then the whole fight becomes difficult as well you have to tackle the meltdowns keep in mind when the moment you pause people die or panic um and then some abnormalities you can't keep people in the utilities for instance flesh idol 
I think two of my attempts failed because I forgot somebody was in Flesh Idol. At some point, just, up, oh, everybody's out. Good luck. Um, same thing with uh, Teresia. Although that's just one guy panicking. We could have uh, done fine with that. But yeah. Um, and then you think, like, okay, so it's just one wave of melt. How bad could it be? You only need to pause once. Sure, but then he starts doing uh, the pillar attack, and if he does that at the right side of disciplinary, fires it all the way to welfare, that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I don't know, he's going to melt. I mean, you have to pull your attention away from him again. <sighs> anyway. The Arbiter on his own wasn't too bad, but it's really the fact that you can't pause as well that's causing a lot of troubles and there goes somebody with the tree so yeah another thing okay we did tree apocalypse for um <laughs> i said we did tree apocalypse but we had to cancel it um well, cancel it kill the final few saplings when we actually started this because the um, tree parasite tree can actually go into a special meltdown even if it's technically still breaching which at some point made me think whether or not it was worth still doing turns out it is because again um, it protected the people in disciplinary the disciplinary team itself whilst it was doing the regular work but yeah um, that was pretty much day 49 for me. Tree Apocalypse, Queenie. Undo Tree Apocalypse. Make sure you don't hit the 33% where your day is already game over before you even start it, in case. Um... Yeah, in case noon happened to when the Arbiter spawned in. And I think at the end, I had more noons before him than after him. So, yeah, that was another thing. I started hating the uh, Black Fixer. Yeah. Um, turns out he just shows up somewhere, and even if you're beating up on him, he kind of just decides, you know what? I'm going to let the normality go out as anyway. So you are beating up with four or five people. He just raised his hammer, boom. Nothing there is breaching. Fun. <laughs> um, we did it with nothing there once. It happened to censored ones. The censored thing we managed to solve. But, uh, nothing there kind of made me restart because I wanted to use the. Oh, a pale attack. That's what killed everyone. Okay. I think it's at this point I'm also going like, yeah, you know what? I think I'm good. Uh, or not. I guess I wanted to see if he really was <clears throat> broken. As you can see, yeah, he's not throwing up his special meltdowns anymore. Uh, there was not much I can do about that. So that sucked. Um, other than that... I don't know. Um, yeah, day 49 was just... I suppose the best way to describe would be a spike in difficulty and I can easily see how many people would just throw in the towel here. Because this was just utter madness. Um, I might be repeating myself a little bit later once I've actually just shown you the footage of how I did beat him. Um, which isn't too much, don't... Don't... Uh, this is from here on and it's the run where, where I've beaten and we're already like here and there's gonna be another jump cut coming up this is his final phase I believe so yeah well I know how that happened uh, I had a hotkey I forgot about it and just started mashing keys if I want to record so I'm actually more than lucky to actually have this amount of um, which I kind of forgot about uh, looking at the hotkeys when the fight started and once the fight started you don't have time to do that so I just start mashing my keyboard and then uh, apparently I hit the right key at some point and I hit it again to turn it off and then a little bit later I hit it again so anyway 
The Arbiter has been deceased. So this is where I pretty much threw my headset off, started jumping around in my own room. People started thinking I'm crazy and for good reason because doing this is more than crazy. 22 people dead and could be worse. Apparently people die on day 49. But we did it. We only lost half the team. <sighs> anyway, it seems I'll be regaining my composure in a little bit. And I'll. I uh, guess I'll leave it to past me, present me. I don't know how you do that. All I'm saying is this is going to be the end of post commentary. So, yeah. <sighs> He's dead! Yay! Good lord, 22 people dead. This is pretty much where um, Tree Apocalypse happened. And things went uh, quite interesting. Anyway, let's skip ahead before the game crashes. I'll talk a little bit more about how I did it, but I'm worried to lose progress again. Because there was a high chance of that. A really high chance of that. Holy butts. Needless to say, that was the most difficult I who think. Whoa. Have you met her? Have you met your reflections? They must have tried to stop you because their own tomorrows will not come. gave up on yesterday's with them. Wait, why is this guy blurred out? How weird. Anyway, let's continue on. When finally we meet today, <coughs> must have realized that... This, wait, let me just make sure I'm recording. <laughs> realize that seeing you have come this far without hesitation. I knew. For a long time, we all lost our hearts. I knew. But I did not do anything about it. I'm sure many others did. <clears throat> That's what makes Carmen different from us. Instead of looking away, she wanted to save them and find their souls back. She was the one who made the noble decision of saving humanity. But I, who had no such ambition, had to continue her legacy. <clears throat> Ironic, isn't it? Perhaps I'm not the right man for this job. You've come just like other wings. Committing atrocities just like them. Employees have repeated hundreds of thousands of deaths. My friends are dead and trapped in a cycle of agony. I was just sitting and watching. Just because I thought I should realize her ideal. This sin will never be forgiven. Nonetheless, we must do this. <clears throat> These wrongdoings can cut the vicious cycle. I would gladly take this bird. Our mission is to see people's heart. Everyone has their own light. Tales are created from them. Our very existence is rooted in them. We merely seed. It's up to them how they bloom it. What about us? Unfortunately, we won't be able to see what kind of forest will be created. We have one more thing to do. The thing that counts times. Managing abnormality. You will make it. I know you will. Come. This will be your last work as a manager. Oh. Alright, come on. Save the game, please. Okay. Mm -hmm. Whoa. Cool. All right, so let's check the damage. I can't. Oh, there we go. Training team got wiped. Lost one guy in security. I think that happened when I sent someone to flesh out and immediately took him out again. I've lost a few runs that way. I thought, you know what, just F it, kill him. 
after I lost two. Central Command Team is in full bloom. Even the guy I used for, uh, well, was planning on using for the Tree Apocalypse. More about that later, but uh, yeah, no. I'll talk about that later. See, yeah. Oh man, Jameson gone. Mr. Easy gone. Somebody else gone. <laughs> Sorry. You weren't, you weren't around long enough. Record team got beaten up pretty badly. Extraction team got beaten up pretty badly. We lost one person here. Cool. Anyway, yeah, um, the way things sort of went. Um, <clears throat> Tree Apocalypse worked, but only until we actually had to go for the Arbiter. Because even though this thing was technically breaching, it could still get special meltdowns and I couldn't work on it. So we could go to meltdown four, ready to go to five. We had to kill some remaining saplings before we did that. Um, as well as also having to think about, um, oh, there was so much stuff I needed to remember. Anyway, um, we lost one person here using the clock. Um, it basically was, gave us one free wave taking care of the meltdowns, which we made good use of, of course. Uh, I mean, yeah, there was Queenie and stuff. Um, I sent people to where I wanted them, as I showed in the beginning, like these two at the top to deal with you and you, and you and you at the bottom to deal with these two. Uh, it saved me some time. I still paused, um, which is also why we lost a few people, but... I only paused twice, though. And I think I got really lucky. I think in both occasions, only one guy got pegged. Um, which is amazing. Um, we had a pretty big strike team. Things were going well. Um, still a lot of people died. I, I don't know if it could have gone any better. Um, I just saw a picture of Styles of J, who's also playing. He lost 41 people. Um, I'm content only having done half. So I got 70, 76 law points. Uh, I'll probably get everyone back. This seems like it will be easy. So I might even do the Apocalypse Bird once more, just to make sure everybody has their wings. Um, yeah, good lord, I'm glad that's over. Oh man, I'm actually kind of frightful to uh, go back and close the game and think it won't save, so I might just do the day straight after this thing. But anyway, for now, thank you guys for watching. Hope you're in the series of free shows. Support by coming, liking, or something if you haven't already. And I'll see you guys on the next episode. Bye, everyone.